ISI Kolkata is there. There are so many colleges which are conducting their own examinations. Another benefit you can have if you are not willing to go for MTech and you want to take a placement and you have a revision schedule, you have the paper, you do have very less time for only revision and practice. Yes. Easily avoid or solve, improve slowly, slowly over the period of 20 days by attempting the test. Welcome to Physics Wala Gate Wala channel. My name is Vishwadeep and I am going to talk about two important things here. Less than a month is remaining for GATE 2025 paper and what exactly you should follow in the last month. Second thing I'm going to talk about is what is the importance of the cutoff? If you get the cutoff score, is it worth? Of course, you listen a lot of chatters around you when you start preparation or when you get about the GATE exam. Okay, if you will write the GATE exam, you will score well, you will be able to get into PSUs, you will be able to get into a master's, PhD admissions and many more. But that you listen when you get really higher rank. But let's suppose you started late or maybe your preparation is not that particular up to the mark at that level. This year specifically I'm talking about and still you are thinking like, let me just get into that, you know, examination little seriously. Let me just get the scorecard, the cutoff marks. Will it be worth Will it be helpful somewhere? Of course, it will be helpful somewhere. I'll tell you about that too. So first off thing, importance of the gate cutoff. These are the four importance of cutoff. The first thing is higher education opportunities. There are many colleges which are saying that we will conduct our own examination. Yes, apart from the gate. But if you have the gate score, that will have a separate weightage for your admission. So if you have the gate score, you can get better opportunity in those colleges or I should say better priority, more priority in those colleges where the colleges are getting exam conducted by themselves. So first thing, better opportunities than the other who are not gate qualified in the higher education opportunities. Second thing is PSU job eligibility. There are few PSUs who are taking directly through the gate examination. You write the gate exam. If you have really high cutoff, you will be selected for the interview and so on. But there are PSUs which are hiring off cycle. Off cycle means the cycle where most of the students are already done somewhere like uh, maybe in September or October of the year. So in that case, lot of such students will have or hold the scorecard with low score, but still waiting for next year's opportunity or maybe trying to get into next year's gate examination with better score. So those students can apply for such kind of PSUs. One thing. Second thing, some PSUs are giving you opportunity to write their own test. But that too only possible when you have a valid score. Yes. So there also you can have better chance that I do have a valid score. I can attempt the written test of this PSU. Of course, the numbers are very less, but every year these, these requirements are changing. Of course, not with the bulk, like all the PSUs are not doing or not changing a lot of things in them, but certainly every year one or two PSUs, some one or two government examinations or government sectors, institutes, those are changing, you know, those criteria. So you may have chance. Third thing is a scholarship. Of course, let's say you have lesser score, but there are some colleges in, in computer science. We have Triple IT Hyderabad. It conducts its own examination. Then we have Bits Pilani, very good college for computer science, electronics guys. So if you want to get into such kind of colleges, Triple IT Delhi is there, ISI Kolkata is there. There are so many colleges which are conducting their own examination for admission, but there are a lot of other colleges apart from that, of course, there are a lot of colleges which are providing scholarship if you are gate qualified, which means to get admission into those colleges, you will have to attempt another test. You attempt the test, you, bet, you score better in those tests, their own examination, college examination. And when you pass that particular entrance test or have that bare cutoff, then you will be able to get into that particular college admission done. But if you got the admission, there are so many members. There will be so many members there who are gate qualified and so many members who will not be or gate qualified. So if you are a gate qualified person, 
qualified person, then you will get a scholarship. That is the government scholarship stipend of 12,400 till now. That is the number for MTech. Best. I have seen that kind of uh, situation in Manipal Institute, MIT Manipal. MIT Manipal, I know just because I have seen it very closely. So it's something like they conduct their own examination for MTech admission. But if you are get qualified, they'll provide the scholarship. That was a scene I have seen. So if you are get qualified with low score also, you are attempting their own examination, the college examination for MTech admissions and all, you will get the scholarship. Okay, few colleges are not allowing, but you will have the chance to get the scholarship if you have this that valid gate scorecard. Apart from that, I already told you that some PSUs are actually giving you opportunity of writing their own test only when you have the valid scorecard. And the next thing is skill recognition. Sometimes it happens that you, if you have cut off and if you are going for any, you know, interviews after your college or, you know, during your college itself or maybe off campus, that particular gate scorecard can be recognized as some kind of technical understanding you have. You can easily justify that I was, uh, you know, trying to understand my problem solving skills. I was not willing to go for my MTech, just wanted to attempt this national level exam so that I can test myself where I stand technically. So you can suggest that, you know, in the interview, something like this, that I was just trying to understand my technical understanding without any preparation. I went and I score decent, some 30 marks or 35 marks or 40 marks, whatever. The cutoff score varies every year. So you can just say that this is the recognition of my skill. Just see how good I am without preparation. Of course, you are faking it sometimes, but you can say in the placement that without preparation, I could do this much. I don't want to prepare just because I want to go for placement. Of course, you are whatever your target is, you can based on that, you can tell them. But if you are saying them, of course, in the interview, you may have a better chance to get picked up just because you have better technical recognition by the national level exam gate. So this is another benefit you can have if you are not willing to go for MTech and you want to take a placement and you have an opportunity. So these are the importance of gate. Now, how to get that cutoff mark? Very important. See, if you see lakhs of students in computer science and thousands of students in other branches are attempting the gate paper. Of course, lakhs of students uh, may be in the other branches also. This year, the scenario will be whatever. We don't know. Right now, the numbers are not known. But thousands and lakhs of students are writing the gate examination. But only 10 to 20 percent students are getting those cutoff marks. 10 to 20 percent of overall, even lesser than that. How? How people who are preparing for gate examination entire year and still not getting cut off. There are so many students who are just writing the gate examination without even studying a single word, but at least getting the gate cut off or maybe sometimes getting better score. How exactly? The simple mantra here is to get the cut off, you will have to score marks in gate examination and you get the marks in gate examination by solving the question. You go there in the examination, you solve the question of that gate level and you get the cutoff or you get the marks, simple. So ultimately you will have to make yourself to that level where you can solve the questions of gate level. Now solve a question, you will need two things. One, of course, understanding of the topic and the second understanding of the application how to apply this concept to solve this particular type of problems now there is no single type of problems in gate just because there are a lot of concepts and from each set of concept you can have a lot of variety of questions so in that case what happens in that case what happens in that case sir you will have to understand that how in lesser time precisely i can focus on this area those areas where we can score more and that is why i brought these two three points for you guys just select those topics by checking out the previous year questions pyq's previous year questions so by checking out previous year questions from the gate examination 
from which topic more and more number of questions, similar kind of questions are coming. Just grab those topics, try to understand them, then solve the previously asked questions in gate, PYQ, based on them, and then practice more questions around them from those topics only. Revise so that you can remember the topic. If you can do this for two to three courses also, apart from, of course, mathematics, aptitude and all other things you can remember, certainly you will be able to reach to the cutoff. But you know what happens for two to, with two to three courses? It is highly, highly difficult to get the cutoff. So you'll have to make it to the four to five subjects. So collect those topics only from where most of the questions are coming in the gate examination most of the time. and then. You can just prepare them. Then later on, you can practice the previous year questions which have been asked from those topics and around it. If you find out that, okay, this is very unique question asked only once and then did not come later, you can initially skip those kind of questions. Most common, commonly asked questions you can repeat once again. I mean, you can practice more just because possibility is more that such kind of question will come this year also or may come around it. So that's how you will reach to the cutoff marks if you have started late and if you want to get the cutoff only. Now there are so many students who will comment, sir, we started preparation, completed a few courses, but still we did not revise or practice or something, something. Now this is the time you cannot, you should not go for new topics if you have covered at least 45% or 40% of your syllabus also. More than 40% syllabus, if you have completed, learned, then I will suggest please go with the practice and revision only just because time is not left. If in the first week of your, you know, gate examination schedule, you have the paper, you do have very less time for only revision and practice and of course test. So please go ahead with the practice and revision. But if you cannot, of course, I mean, if you are, you are not done with the 35, 40% syllabus also, you can add on few more days for, you know, half of the day learning new topic, half of the day completed courses, practice and revision. But just because why I'm saying this, you cannot remember everything until you revise a particular concept multiple times. You cannot solve the question even though if you are a champion of remembering everything until you practice just because how to utilize a concept or how to use a concept to solve the question is a very different art of you know uh, skill of art and that particular problem solving skills can come only by solving a lot of questions by practicing so you will practice more and more and more you will understand how to solve the question using the knowledge and ultimately at the end you will have to attempt the test why just because you need to know that pressure situation you need to know that crunch situation you need to know that when you don't have answers of the questions and you are attempting how good you are in confidence of remembering the concepts without you know checking out your notes etc and how can you concentrate for little longer period while while attempting the test you can understand where you are making mistakes sometimes you will make silly mistakes you will be making a lot of such kind of mistakes which are something like oh 2 plus 3 i have written 6 how is it possible man but it happens just because your concentration was somewhere else of course, if you commit a lot of silly mistakes, I do have a video dedicated about it, how to avoid silly mistakes. You can search, you'll get it. But the thing is, whatever mistakes you are doing, which are not related to concepts, you can just go ahead and solve them by understanding where I'm making mistakes. And that can happen only while attempting the test. So many students are afraid, sir, I'm so afraid. I cannot write the test. I cannot attempt the test. Why? Just because I'm not fully prepared. Dear, it's very simple. If you don't attempt the test, you will attempt one test for sure that is gate examination. Now in the gate examination, you are doing those silly mistakes which you could easily catch during the attempting the test, which you could easily avoid or solve, improve slowly, slowly over the period of 20 days by attempting the test during these last few days, but you did not do. Why? Just because you were afraid. Now you will get the gate score. Of course, that will reflect your preparation only. It cannot be overwhelming that you have prepared for just 40 marks and you are getting 80 marks. It's not the semester exams that you cannot write. You can write everything or anything. Unnecessarily, you can just fill the paper and you can get the score. Now, 
uh, in some semester exams it can happen that's why i'm giving the example here most appropriate answer you will have to go with if you are 0.001 percent away from your concept gone just because gate is very very appropriate answer type of examination so if you think i have prepared for 40 marks and i can get 50 out of it no i have not seen people doing this never ever somebody came to me sir i prepared only 30 mark paper and i got 40 mark 45 mark or something like that i have never seen just because nobody approached me so what am i saying attempt whatever you have prepared it will be reflecting it may not reflect initially just because you will make mistakes initially but slowly 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 your mistakes will be eliminated by working on it and in the gate examination you will not make those kind of mistakes so tests are not the reflection of your preparation now test will be your reflection of preparation at the end when you will write the gate examination so in the preparation it's the part of the preparation that you how you will identify your mistakes by writing the test and then you will improve them so that you can score well in the gate examination so that was all about this particular session thank you so much if you still have doubts queries questions please let me know now if you are coming to me and asking sir can you please tell me what are the important topics of each subject then there is a dedicated video for computer science and da students for from my end but still you can just check it out for other branches also just go ahead and you have the pyqs anyway so pyqs are available maybe freely or maybe on the platform however you can access based on your batches etc but pyqs are available so if you will go ahead with that analysis you can easily get the information that which topic questions are coming more in gate examination and you can go ahead with those preparation focused on those topics with your preparation in the end thank you so much have a great day happy learning Bye bye